And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rock kicks. And I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Uh, I very much agree with uh, the central point in, in Gabriel's paper that we should be aiming for zero infection um, and elimination of the disease because that is basically the approach taken in countries which have a SARS strategy as opposed to a, a flu strategy and those are the countries that have overwhelmingly been the most successful in, in tackling coronavirus. Um, and, uh, you know, I just... My sister uh, lives in Beijing and she flew back to Beijing in the middle of lockdown. And just to give you an, an idea of the contrast, uh, she was escorted from the airport in Beijing to her home by Ministry of Health officials. Uh, and then uh, put into her home for two weeks quarantine. The door was sealed and uh, she had a police car sitting outside her house uh, periodically. And I'm not saying we go that far in this country, but I just think it's an indication of how serious they are in the countries that have had to deal with SARS about stopping at the root every possible source of infection. I think so. I mean, I lived in Japan for a couple of years and there it's just a common courtesy. It has been for many years that if you've got a cold, you wear a mask to um, stop passing it on to other people. And I think the concern is that if that became general advice, then we might run out of masks in the NHS. And that's the reason for some of the hesitance. So I hope we are building up really big stocks because for things like the tube, the buses, um, I think it's going to be a no-brainer. People are going to want to wear masks, frankly, whether they're asked to or not. I think so. I mean, I lived in Japan for a couple But we have uh, scientists who say that we are going to reach that tipping point of one and a half degrees by 2040 at the moment on current projections. So, so it is different this time. There is that, that time pressure. That's right. The, the, there's no comparable feat that mankind has ever achieved to what we need to do for climate change. Now, mankind is much richer today, far more knowledgeable today. We do have the digital tools that enable us uh, to work on these things. What happened with solar panels, where they were very expensive and now they're cheap, are lithium ion batteries. We need to do that for about six other technologies. Uh, you know, green steel, cheap hydrogen, offshore wind. Um, and so it, it does require uh, lots of money. And we have to get, we have many paths of innovation. We're not just counting on, you know, one path. Uh, but we will have to see rapid innovation. It's all a matter of, of degree, so to speak. That is, you know, hitting 2.5 is better than hitting three. Hitting two is better than hitting 2.5. 1.5 .5 will be very difficult. Uh, I doubt that we'll be able to achieve that. Health Secretary Jeremy Cunt, uh, Hunter. Jer Jer Jeremy Cunt, the, the <laughs> Hunt. <laughs> the Health Secretary Jeremy Cunt, Jeremy Hunter. The Health Secretary Jeremy Cunt has described... Circumstances changed, Mr Cunt, Mr Hunt had to... The Health Secretary Jeremy Cunt, Hunt says... And the Health Secretary Jeremy Cunt, H Jeremy Hunt... The Health Secretary Jeremy Cunt has said... Well, first up after the news, I'm going to be talking to Jeremy Cunt, uh, Hunt, the Culture Secretary, about... <laughs> say that, that the man that you're backing, Jeremy Cunt, I'm so sorry, Jeremy Hunt. I've never said that before in my life. It's usually men who say that, so I really, really want to apologise. Uh, uh, Jeremy, I'm not going to pronounce his surname because I might mispronounce it deliberately. 